So while I wouldn't say to any artist, you ought to do a play about homeless people, I would say to artists in general that, you know, open your eyes and deal directly with what's around you because you're ignoring, you're concentrating on always on the microcosm, on minute questions of personal relationship. It sanctions the same behavior in your audience. I mean, it, it tells the audience the only things that are important are things that happen in my living room or in my bedroom, in my psyche, in my personality. Those are the things, between me and my analyst, those are the really important things that happen. On the other hand, there's too strong a taboo against dealing with social questions in art. It's a very strong taboo that we have with us. We've had it with us since the 50s. It was instituted for very, very strong and particular political and historical reasons. So there was a big purge of the arts and, and the intelligentsia in general, and a reaction against content, against social content in art that was so profound that it's still with us today. You know, if it, it, it's social content makes bad art. In my generation, that's what we were taught in college, and, um, and we're not through with that yet. You know, that's still a prejudice. It's, a great taboo against uh, against being obvious, against um, propaganda. That's the dirtiest word in art. I personally take pleasure in going up against that taboo and saying, um, you know, it's a pleasure to uh, to win an Obie or a Tony for work that's frankly propagandistic <laughs> and throws that in people's faces. You know, because <laughs> uh, there's nothing you can't make art out of. You know, if it's just propaganda, it's not art. But you can't say that art can't be propaganda. Some propaganda is great art.